Hey YouTube, this is Gimme GPs here. And yeah, that intro is sick. You know it. So yeah, this video is a money making guide. And there's going to be two episodes of this. This one's going to be money making methods such as um like going out and killing monsters. And the next one's going to be a merchanting and flipping guide. Now if there's a slight buzzing in the back of the recording, I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening, I'm going to have to buy a new mic to uh, fix it, because I don't know how to fix it, I don't know what's going on, it's just happened the other day, so yeah, I'm going to have to buy a new mic. Now on to the money making. Let's start with the first method. Okay, so the first method I'm going to show you is killing grot worms. Now you want to come to this cave entrance for where the QBD is and you want to have an inventory similar to mine so you need pots for whatever you're using I recommend melee or range whichever you are better with uh, some prayer pots because you're going to want to pray against the grot worms a familiar to store some of the drops in if you do have a yak or a tortoise I would probably bring more prayer pots than what I have and then high alchemy runes to alk the rune drops that you get. So also just a quick demonstration setup of what I have here. Obviously I'd be wearing an Avas accumulator if I was staying here for longer. But I did die here like an out the other day and it is easy to get back to your grave so there's not much worry. Okay so we're gonna go straight in now and I'm gonna show you which grot worms you kill, uh, where they are and the drops that you get. So if we go straight into the cave now and run straight down if you are a low level such as um, I'd say anywhere below 30 or below you're probably going to want to kill these young grot worms now these obviously have the lowest GP per hour because they're the lowest level and they have a less drop rate than the other grot worms but Nonetheless, for your level, they'll still be good GP per hour. And yeah, if you're a low level, you kill these young grot worms for money. Now, if you come around here, if you're a high level, you want to investigate this shortcut and slide down the worm burrow. So, once you're down here, you'll see these massive mature grot worms, which are. Sorry about the lag there, which are level 167. Now, they can, this place can be crowded. I am on a high populated will, which is why it's pretty crowded. But if we follow down, these mature grot worms do stay down here consistently for quite a while. Now, there's one free here, so I'm going to kill it to demonstrate to you guys what I do. So I pray magic because I'm standing at a distance from the grot worm. Now I don't want to stand too close to the grot worm because I want to get their mage attacks just on me. Because I'm ranging, this is good because I don't take any hits at all because I'm praying from the mage hits and they are not melleeing me. Now I'm going to skip until I kill the grot worm and show you the drop that I get. Okay, so the grot worm has just died and what drop am I going to get? I got adamant ore. So if we pick it up, now this isn't one of the drops that you'd alk, so you'd put it into your beast of burden and keep it and then carry on. So if we progress down the tunnels now, the mature grot worms are consistent for quite a lot of the tunnels, so I mean if you're on a low populated world you should get a lot of, you should easily find a spot that's free. Now what we want to do if we are a medium level is go through this cave opening. Now once we get through the cave opening we can see that there are standard grot worms here. These are what you are going to want to kill if you are I'd say level 50 or above. Now I'm going to use the same tactic for killing these that I use on the mature grot worms which is stand at a distance, pray mage and range them. I don't know why I was lagging there, sorry about that guys. So these obviously have a lower drop rate of the rune armor that you are going to want to alk for your 
main chunk of money than what the mature grot ones do. But nonetheless, these are still good GP per hour. As you can see, I got 15 flax there. That is another drop you're going to want to pick up and store in your beast of burden. So now I'm going to just kill a few mature grot worms and show you guys the sort of alcables that you can get. So as you can see in my inventory now, I got a royal dragon hide piece. On the drop I just got, I got a rune longsword. If you look at my money pouch, I'm going to alk the rune longsword and I get 19k for that. Now these rune drops are very common, you get them all the time. Uh, you can get like rune chain bodies which alk for 30k each. Now using this method you can maximize uh, 1 million I think, I think the max I had was 1 million GP per hour. So that is an extraordinary amount of GP per hour to get while training your combat as well and it's not even that hard to do. So yeah guys, that's it for this method and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so the next method I'm going to show you guys is charging air orbs. So if we look at my, uh, what I'm wearing, you want a charged glory and a staff of air. Now just to show you guys how much profit you're going to be making from charging these orbs, what you want is three cosmic runes and one unpowered orb to cast the spell. Now the price of these together costs 1073 GP and then the price of the charged air orb costs 1618 GP. So you're making just under 600 GP per orb you charge. Now we're using this method you can make about 600k per hour and you get magic experience from this method too. Okay so you want your inventory set up exactly the same as mine only 81 cosmics as this method is in the wilderness so if you get killed you won't actually lose much money at all. So you need level 66 magic for this method to charge the air orbs but this is easily achieved by doing simple spells up until 43 magic and then you can do super heat to high alchemy and then high alchemy to charge air orb. This will not take long at all. So the price of the items in my inventory comes to 28, well let's, let's say 29k. And now we're going to go charge these orbs and see how much money we make on this inventory. So if you run down this way, you have to go into the Edgeville dungeon. So you climb down this trap door. From the trap door ladder, you proceed north, down this path, as if you're going to the Slayer Master up here. So turn and go through this gate here. straight up until you get to this gate here. Now what you do at this metal door is you open it and this is now the world mess. So once you open it, hopefully you won't lag like I did, uh, you just go this way past the chaos druids that are here and then you just proceed forward. So you open this metal door it's gonna do it if it's just gonna lag me and then you want to pray melee as you go past these black demons so you go past these black demons to this ladder here and then you are at the uh, obelisk um, for some reason there's some monkfish on the floor so what we're gonna do is stand around this side so if someone comes up the ladder you have time to see who it is and telly away with your amulet of glory. Um, but if not, if they're not PKing or they're not your level you can just carry on charging the air orbs. 
So as you can see I get 76 experience for magic per air orb and this is fairly AFK so I mean you could look, watch a YouTube video while doing this method. So yeah I'm going to skip until I've done my whole inventory and uh, yeah I'll see you guys then. Okay so I'm on the last two orbs to charge now and no one's even been here. So not many people do come here at all. So what we're going to do is now use the edge fill lodestone teleport. The amulet of glory that you have is used for an emergency teleport only. So only use that if you are being attacked by another player. So once we load stone out and get over here we obviously run down oh there's my friend we run down to the Edgeville bank and we're going to bank in there but we're going to see how much money I just made so it's 29k made to 43k in uh, two minutes so yeah that's a very good money making method guys charging air orbs it's very very low level to do it as well so yeah I'll move on to my next money making method guys now okay guys so the last method for making money that I'm going to show you is collecting white berries now once again you want to have exactly the same setup as me anti dragon shield black dehyde body you know just the set just to protect you a bit more from uh, dragons in the wilderness uh, I've also brought spirit carrier bird pouch you can bring any beast of burden familiar to help you with this method they do increase the GP per hour so I do recommend them okay so I've um, summoned my terror bird and we're gonna go do this method now so from Edgeville you want to run to the canoe spawn um, by this river over here uh, alternatively you can use the uh, games necklace to teleport to the corporeal beast uh, this brings you to the same sort of level wilderness but I just prefer to use the canoe um, because you know it, you get XP from it don't know why I whispered that but yeah we're going to ship the canoe now into a into a whacker because whackers are the coolest canoes and then we just take it up to the wilderness and uh, yeah it's pretty easy it, it takes you to about 35 wilderness and then we have to run to the white berries from there so uh, today would be nice to shape the canoe don't know how long, it never usually takes this long I'm just going to reply to these PMs while it does it ok so we're going to want to float the canoe now and then paddle with the canoe up to the wilderness So now we're here, we want to run north um, until we reach the lava maze. And then once we get to the lava maze we go around the edge of the lava and straight to the red dragon. That's why we have the anti-dragon shield because it protects us from the red dragon. So here's the edge of the lava and we just have to run around it. And there's, there's some cave entrances. For some reason I thought that was the Corporal Beast cave, but it's not. So we just run around here and then the gate's open already. So we go through here and then straight down to the bottom where the white berries are. So once we've got down here, I think it's is it around here. No, it's, it's this side. Sorry. So yeah, you come down to this side, and there's someone here. But the two white berry spawns are here and here, and you just alternate between the two. And obviously that guy got that one then. So I'm gonna get this one. And we'll just check them the price of them so uh, yeah they're 800 GP each so with the terror bird as well you're getting like way over you're getting about 32k 
about 35k per inventory so that's per trip and you can make up to about 800k per hour using this method just collecting white berries and then going back and forth so that's also a really easy money making method guys so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed it please leave a like because that really does help and yeah if you uh, really enjoyed it subscribe because I will be making more videos like this and part two of which is a merchanting and flipping guide is yet to come. Peace.